everyone, welcome back. Today we are gonna learn about how to yarn braid our horses. So first we're just gonna talk about the different tools that we need. So first we've got a pair of scissors, so we'll need those to cut the yarn. Um, then over here we have our yarn. Now usually you would pick the color that goes with your horse's mane. For the purpose of today, because we are using a dark horse, I'm gonna use white yarn so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, then we've got a main comb, a pulling comb. Here we have a seam ripper, which you can pick up from Greenhawk or even any of the fabric stores. And then finally, we have a pull through. And last but last, not least, we have our, this does say cowboy magic. It is spray and braid, or you can also use a quick braid and that just helps get the mane a little bit easier to braid. So if you come on over here, I'm gonna introduce you guys to Amore. Say hi, Amore. Now I've already gone ahead and we've pulled his mane to a length that is good for braiding. If it's too long, your bobbles end up being too big and it just doesn't look as neat and as tidy. So step one is going to be to cut our yarn into strips that we can use. So the easiest way to do it is to keep it between your thumb and finger and wrap it around your elbow. And you just wanna keep going until you've got enough. I usually do between eight and 10, and then I can always add more if I need more. So then once you've got that, we're just going to cut, take your scissors, cut it at the top. Perfect, and then we're going to come back and I'm gonna show you guys how to take the yarn and braid it into his mane. Okay, so I have taken the time to just go ahead and put some braids in just to show you guys what they're gonna look like with the black yarn. But for the purpose of this video, we are gonna do it with white yarn just so you guys can see it against his black mane. The important part here is we just wanna make sure that you're sectioning each braid to about the same amount. So if you just take an elastic or something, or you can use the entire length of the main comb, but you wanna make sure they're all relatively the same size so your braids look neat and tidy. So, and then we're gonna take our pink comb and just to help separate it, use that as like a hair clip. You wanna measure it again. And then the next thing you're gonna do is take your spray and braid, and this just makes it a little bit easier to grab onto. Some horses don't like it, so you wanna make sure you're spraying it into your hand. And then you wanna start the braids. So you're gonna section the hair into three pieces. And we're just gonna cross it over once on each side over the middle section. And then you're gonna grab your yarn. So for the purpose of this, we're gonna use white. And we're gonna slip that piece behind the hair and tuck it into both outside pieces. So now I've got it with my strands of hair and I'm gonna continue to braid it down his mane. And every time you cross over, you wanna pull tight so that your braids are neat and tidy. And then you wanna go down as far as you can before you run out of hair. And then you're gonna take the two pieces at the bottom here. You wanna loop it around the bottom. We make a little circle here and pull it between and you're just gonna pull it tight and let it hang down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and braid one more of these and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna teach you guys how to put all these into neat little baubles. Okay, so the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pull through and we're gonna take these pieces of string here and we've gotta pull them through the top. So the pull through goes, we wanna make sure it's closed, put it through the, the base of the mane 
and then you take the end here and we take our two pieces of string and we're gonna pull it up through the back and you just wanna pull the string through, not the actual braid or mane itself. So we're gonna do the next one down here again. I push it through the back, put it through here. I'm gonna pull up through the center and I'm just gonna pull it through with my fingers. Same thing. And if you were doing this with the whole mane, you would go all the way down. It just makes it easier if you kind of do it step by step. So we're gonna pull that one through. And then finally we will do our white one here. So then once those are pulled through, the next thing we want to do is make sure that these braids are going to stay nice and tight. So we're going to take the two pieces of string and you want to tie it like the first part of tying your shoelace. You want to go under and over and that part of the string is going to go underneath the braid and you just pull it tight. And then we're going to do the same thing one more time. and then continue on down the mane. So I'm crossing it under and over, tucking it underneath the bobble and pulling it tight. Same thing, one more time. And then we're just gonna work our way down the mane. And one thing that works well is once you have the bobble's done. If you take some hair gel, you can get all these little flyaways and it just makes it look a little bit neater. So we'll just do the white one here just for a little bit. It's a little bit easier for everybody to see. So we're coming below the braid, pulling it tight, and then coming around one more time. Okay, now that we got those, the next step is to do the bobbles. So I'm gonna show you on the white one here. So then we're gonna take it again, under and over, so you've got a little loop. And you can kind of manipulate the bobble a little bit, but if you put it in half and pull it tight, And the white's gonna stand out a little bit better so you guys can see. But you wanna pull that tight and then just tie it one more time so it doesn't come out. And then you would simply go along and cut the string. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these so you guys can see what they look like when they're done with the appropriate color yarn opposed to our nice bright white stuff and then we're going to pop back on here and I will let you know how to take these out. Okay so the last step is to cut off our little bits of yarn hanging here so they end up looking like this. So you just want to go in nice and carefully. You want to make sure not to snip the yarn that's holding the braid. And that finishes off your baubles. So the final thing that I'm gonna show you guys is how to take these out. And the easiest way to see it is gonna be with this white one here. So we're gonna take our seam ripper. Again, you can get this at a fabric store or a green hawk sells them as well. And you wanna be careful that you're not getting the mane. So you wanna get underneath it and we're just gonna slip it through, pull up. And you might have to do that a few times to get it out. Some come out easier than others but you wanna make sure you're not taking any of the horse's mane with it. And they are quite sharp, so you wanna make sure not to poke yourself or your pony. And then the last thing you're gonna to need to do is just get it from around here. And then from there, you're just gonna pull it out and you can unbraid it as well. You might need to do one more. There. And you want to make sure you go through and take them all out. So thank you guys for joining us and we will have another video for you again next week. Thanks so much.